Hello everybody, what's up? Venti. Hello everybody, what's up? How are you doing? Today we're gonna do a bit of a different video. This is more of a rant <laughs> rather than anything else. Uh, and I want to talk about why the 1.5 Genshin building update, although one of the best things to happen to Genshin as a whole, uh, is just like so bad. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'm just so underwhelmed and I'm just so angry at everything that it, like Mihoyo has done with this update, to be honest. But like, let me explain. So first, I need to take you through my journey through Genshin. Venti, please shut the fuck. So my journey through Genshin. So I started playing Genshin from the beginning, right? From since 1.0. And I stopped playing after Child Banner was done because I grinded for Child so hard and I didn't get him. <laughs> I hit Pity, like 90, 90 pull Pity and I got Kaching instead and I rage quit. Now I love Kaching, but at that time I didn't want to see it. <laughs> then I got back around 1.4 and although 1.4 was underwhelming in terms of the amount of content that was added, because I was so behind I didn't mind it and I actually really enjoyed the 1.4 update time period because I finished my leeway story, I finished all of the 1.4 events, I did everything that I needed to do and I had a lot of fun. Then uh, I was super excited for 1.5 when I heard that the building was coming because I was like, oh my god, I love Animal Crossing and like building, you know, the Sim City and stuff like that. So like this is literally like if Animal Crossing was in Genshin. And but the problem was, is like now that it has arrived, Building is like underwhelming because Mihoyo limits us in every possible way. I don't know how to describe it other than like it's it's the classic free to play like intensive roadblocks over everything. And it's just I don't understand because they're limiting us not just in crafting wait times, not just in uh, loads, not just in the like limitations that we have but like also in like the most innocuous things like tr like traveling merchant and like let me explain let me show you let me show you around let me show you around. so right now i have my good all area right here i'm quite proud of it to be honest it's it's coming together quite nicely and i'm super happy with what i've built i was planning on making a huge monstat like city that like had a big town square in the middle Disregard this. This is just for adeptal energy for now, but <laughs> but this was that my plan was to make a city, my to make a town basically. But the problem is that I've reached the load limit. So what is the load limit? Let me explain to you. Let me go inside and grab one of my cats since I have two cats and a dog, which is pretty cute. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Look at them. Right here, look. I'm gonna I'm gonna yoink. I'm gonna yoink a cat. Hold up. <laughs> Now here is what I mean by the load. So when you're building stuff outside and inside, you have this thing called load. What load does is it's a limit on the amount of things you can put. So as you can see, when I try to click on my cat to place him down, if you've reached your furnishing placement limit, please remove some furnishing first. Now, there are two things to consider here. One, there's not that many things here. There's not that many items on the ground in terms of like the still gigantic empty space that I have. And like my adeptal energy is super low considering that the highest level is 20,000. And right now my adeptal energy is a 64, uh, like 6,400 something, which is quite high for the second or third day of the update. But like, like, you know, I, I grind, that's what I do. <laughs> so, as you can see, the, the load means that, like, we're super giga limited on the amount of things we can do, right? I cannot place a cat outside because the load of a cat is so intense. The load of, like, the furnace, the load of the animals, the load of some furniture, some buildings is so intense that, like, I have this, which is not that much and I have already can't place many, most things. Look, there's, as someone made a, made a load spreadsheet, which is extremely helpful, and it's what I'm using right now in order to keep up with, you know, being able to place stuff down in order to make the most out of my place so that I can make the town that I wanted to. 
but it doesn't it shouldn't have gotten to the point where we have to make a load spreadsheet and optimize like energy adeptal energy per load in order for us to not only make what we like but also be extremely like limited by the 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 load you, I, I i don't know if i can communicate myself well but then comes in the crafting wait times okay all of the crafting in this game takes ages it takes 12 hours for the green 14 hours for the blue and 16 hours for the purple which many of people are saying yeah it's okay but it's okay because of the vials of adeptal speed which i'm saving up for a stream tomorrow you should go follow me on twitch because we're in a stream and it's gonna be a lot of fun but um you should like the vials aside from the five you can buy every day you shouldn't use them in order to like move as fast as possible and be able to use the most things and be able to create the most furniture as you can you shouldn't use them unless you uh, use them on things in order to increase your uh, trust rank, which is these things that you can that you only get once you uh, craft something for the first time, right? You should only use it for that in order to maximize your progression, basically. Now we have a problem of, you know, I have a load limit in order to get the most. Uh, in order to get the most adeptal energy and i also have to use my vials in order to get the most trust rank that i have to then place those things and make sure that they don't pass the load limit to to also make a pretty place you know what i mean <laughs> you could also just spam everything but like that's no fun like even though i am a grinder and i love maximizing everything it doesn't make any sense to just spam the entire area with as many things as you can because also you can't do that because you'll hit the load and many people there's the saying that like limit limitations breed creativity which like i agree but the tools that were given to us were meant for large scale builds like there's a there's a reason why these things and like these platforms and these buildings were added it wasn't just so that oh you can place one and that's it it was for us to experiment and in the trailer they had 999 of these things on their inventory it was obviously meant for us to place more so it doesn't make any sense in the trailer they show they show dogs and cats playing around and large amounts of boars playing around and that's impossible to do when i can't even place one cat one cat and if i have all of my stuff here I have to sacrifice most of the things here in order to place one cat outside. And just to top it all off, the traveling merchant. Like, in order for you to buy the things from the traveling merchant, you have, um, from, Monday, from Friday to Monday, which is quite generous, uh, quite a bit of time to buy it. But the problem is, if you try to go to Friends Island or Friends Realm, if they already bought their stuff because, I don't know, there was a Shiba Inu in the store, which is very cute and a lot of people in my friend group want, you can't buy that Shiba Inu from your friend either because they already bought it. You can. You, there's only one purchase, no matter how many people come in, how many people like visit your island, if you're the owner of the island or if you're a friend or if you're a random that joined after approval, only one purchase of the item uh, of the, of like the slot is available, right? So like you can only buy one dog, one like crane. I have a I have a cat and a crane. You can only buy one cat, one crane in my area, and five uh, of different types of these boulders, right? So now you gotta ask, why did they put that limit? Why why not make it buy as many things as you want if it's the currency that they want us so so hard for us to get? So I don't know. I, I love the furniture update. I think 1.5 is one of the coolest updates yet, but MiHoYo managed to ruin everything with so many wait times, with so many complications, with so many different limitations that I I just get mad, honestly. I just get mad. But yeah, hopefully this rant made any sense. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. And if you somehow, if I'm doing somehow something really stupid, and I'm just overlooking something very simple, please let me know in the comments as well. Because right now, even though I love this update, it's just, it's so disheartening to have such a cool tool and such a cool new thing to do and be so limited by it. With that said, Papa Bliss, all the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.